Welcome back everyone. Join us as we build a parking pad, clean the dash, and remove all of the seats from our bus named Gimli. So last week we made it safely home and parked Gimli in our driveway. We knew that wouldn't be a permanent solution, so we immediately started to work on a parking pad. So, here she is. Parked in the driveway. We are attempting to clear out a section to park her on. But that means removing all of our lovely little landscape that wilderness has taken back, so. Got it loosely marked with some Markings on the ground. We'll see how we do. Say hi. Hello. So we started to clear out the side yard that had been greatly reclaimed by nature over the years since it had been first installed when the house was built back in the 90s. What we didn't count on was the amount of utter crap that was buried in the dirt there. And best of all, this project, it took infinitely longer because of some random metal rebar that ran to a mystery location we could not find and we couldn't remove it by hand no matter how hard we tried. So the new plan became to keep digging until we could get to a point that Mike's work truck could try to pull it out. I'm tired of this, Grandpa! That's too damn bad! You keep digging! Doesn't matter. I'm also wrapped around it, which means I don't need a slip knot. A few moments later. Kind of? Keep going. Oh, keep going. What? Oh, I think that's it. What happened? The metal broke. It broke? Yeah, but you got some of it out. So with that, we put the excavation on pause for the next few days. I went to a tattoo appointment and Mike ended up forging ahead on his own and started to take out all of the bench seats while I was away. home from getting a tattoo to find that you're swinging it like a sword no. No. <laughs> to find a lot of seats you were busy oh. oh oh there's no more handle no more handhold whoa dude Almost made it halfway. Almost halfway. Did you find a, a lighter too? Found a lighter, a matchbox car, a vape cartridge. These were bad kids. They got good taste in matchbox cars. <laughs> Where's the car? Damn, dream car right there, babe. Nissan GTR? Sure, yeah. And enjoy, damn, not even name brand jewel. Just think, babe, maybe there'll be a couch here. Or maybe it'll be a kitchen. We don't know yet. Move a step. Oh, 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 <laughs> she's doing it. Perfect little hound dog. Show me the tire. <laughs> Yikes. On our next day off together, we parked the bus on the street and might continue to level off all of the dirt and stone that we had just added into the side yard to try and fill it in and make it a parking pad. Those flagstones that were in the wheelbarrow went to our neighbor's house to add to their beautiful natural prairie landscape. 
and I wanted to clean off some of the dust on the dashboard and get into these really satisfying little nooks and crannies before we started into the demolition phase because I wanted to see what shape the dashboard was in. I really love to incorporate this in our finalized design, but even in 2022, we don't have anything set in stone. So this cleaning was definitely mostly just for the satisfaction. Here's what our seat looks like before. Um, it doesn't look bad in video, but um, in person, it's very dingy. So you can definitely use a deep clean. So let's go. I spent working in the bus was facing Hello. away from the house so when I turned around I managed to see that this weirdo can, can I help you Break. <laughs> can I help you with something managed to get all of this <laughs> done in like a day he made a whole ass parking pad by himself in like a day and you want to know what I did I helped I helped by making sure that I bought the cutest little solar lights that I could find off of Amazon. And I just have to say they really do elevate the entire experience. So overall, I really did do something. So here are the final before and after shots. Before it was a crappy grass side yard that we hated mowing because it would never grow in right. And after it is a nice parking pad as a space where we can work as we convert our bus and also lets us use our driveway fully. And now we begin the demolition. Okay, so what are we doing? The plan is, I crawl under bus very uncomfortably. I reach up and I hold on to nuts. Wife, take gun. Gun go roundy roundy. Bolt come out. Hopefully. Hopefully. We do that a lot of times. One more seat. Living space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Hello? Hello. Hi. Throw. Okay. This is uh, this Yeah. Side. Toss. Uh. Give to the bus troll. Hello, bus troll. Uh, yep, I was wrong. The bus troll. This is the wrong side. Is this the candy you desire? I also a half. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, this is also a half. You need to find the wrench that matches that. These are not the candies the bus troll desires. My, my quest is to find one that fits this. Okay. Can you here, see here if the go. one that's... It'll fit the one that's out there, I think. This one's too big. Okay, here I come, bus troll. Here, here I come. Pay the troll toll. You gotta pay the troll toll. If you wanna get in this boy toll. Yeah. That didn't work. <laughs> Perfectly, because I can reach it. Okay. Guess what? Right what? Size. What? It's the right size. Oh, I think it's the wrong size. No, no, wrench me. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, I my I'm sorry. Oh, Troll, are you a bee? You got it. My, my. I get to take my treasures back inside the bus. Oh, yeah. muttering to himself under the bus. You alright? Hey! That worked! So the struggle that we had with removing a lot of our seats is that the screws would be running through the seat legs, linoleum, wooden subfloor, and the bus's external shell to the underside of the bus where they would be bolted in. And somehow all of those components were totally stripped and rusted through. 
So since they kept breaking off on us, our new plan was to have Mike go underneath the bus, provide a counter force to the impact drill, and then we could break it off and Mike could hit it to expose a bigger portion that we could then pull out like a toothpick out of a sandwich. I mean, it came up, I just can't pull it up. Yeah, it's hot, but it's up. As you can see, that process is I easier guess said than done, back. and I felt very helpful once again. Hello? That's terrifying. So you just repeat that process over and over and over again until you have all of the seats removed. If you don't have a helper, you can use an angle grinder to cut the bolts like Mike is here. And then you just have to help strength them out and yeet them into a pile outside of the bus in your side yard for some lady off of Facebook Marketplace to come and pick up, like all of them, because she wants to make an art installation. I don't really know, but more power to her.